Hey Scribers, uh, this video we're going to go over the Scribeware text replacement features. We've got a lot of options for text replacement which really helps speed up report writing. So uh, the very first part of this video I just want to show you the most basic one. So uh, we'll go, we're in a bathroom chapter in the sinks and cabinets section. I'm going to go under slow drain. Basic note, a slow drain was noted at, we can just say it's the powder bath sink and be done with that. So fast and easy to set those. You could just uh, highlight any text and you come under this guy. That's the text replacement button. Um, and then you could start and instead of fixture supply, you could write a whole list of things here and hit save. I hope that makes sense. So I'll just show you under powder bath. We highlight it. We click on this and you'll see there's a whole list of different bathrooms available and you hit save and you could update library to save it. Uh, so that's just how you would build those and save them uh, just for a single text replacement. All right, now I want to show you guys just a little more sophisticated use of uh, text replacement. We're in the walls, ceilings, trim, hallways, closets. So it's kind of a catch-all interior section I like to use. Um, I'm going to type in the word water because I'm looking for my just general water stains. And then I've got water stains, water damage active, water stains dry. So notice these, there's a lot of yellow in here. And my thought is I just want one comment that lets me handle a whole bunch of different situations. So water stains were noted on the ceiling. Well, I could click that. Maybe it was just the walls or the walls and the ceiling. Um, so we'll just change that to walls in this case. In the, well, let's say it was in two different rooms. You could have in the living room and the garage. Or better yet, how about the living room and the family room? All right, so now water stains were noted on the walls in the living room and family room. So then um, sometimes I, I do a lot of pre-listing inspections, So, but sometimes I'm working for a buyer. So in this case, I have inquire with the seller. But if I wanted to have this a recommended disclosure item, I could click on this guy and say disclose any additional, any history of leakage, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then this final text replacement starts leading us into gunny sacks, which are one of my favorite things. But if I don't do anything to this, it will not print in the report. Um, but this little pen is a really neat way for me to take a general comment like, hey, water stains were noted they were dry at the time of inspection and add more nuance to it based on the situation. So I'm going to double click on this and I've got a few little sort of aside notes. Please note that this condition risks additional concealed water damage that cannot be fully understood without removing finishes or this condition appeared old based on testing at the time of inspection. Repairs are needed for cosmetic reasons. So I might um, you know, kind of lessen the weight of it, or let's say I'm really worried about it, like that it risks additional concealed damage, then I might there, and I could even change the weight of it up here and start calling it a major concern. So I hope this is a good example of just how you can use text replacement quickly to kind of massage comments depending on how big of a deal they seem to you. All right, in this uh, video, this segment of the video, I want to show you how you can choose multiple things to set. So mold-like substances were noted on the exterior walls of the closets. Let's click on this. We've actually got a whole bunch of locations built. So below sinks, in bathrooms, on windows, I can check all these. So let me show you how you do that. If you hit um, edit, this is the, the key guy here is allow multiple selections right here. When you click that, then I can I can break up, you know, exterior walls and on exterior and on windows, or you could use or then. Um, this is where you can build gunny sacks using bullets or numbered lists. Uh, you can even just have them as uh, complete sentences. So here's how you kind of break, you can add multiple selections. All right, now the final example of some text replacement is a full-blown gunny sack. So this is, there's a lot to unpack with this, but this can save you a ton of time. If you're doing a house and there's like 
a ton of electrical things you can use this gunny sack so let's let's unpack this a number of defects and red flags are noted in the wiring system well we could change that um, overall numerous so uh, you know just some weight you could even put it a few if you wanted to we could add that let's add that um, so we're gonna edit this come in and just write a few all right, and we are going to update library. So now we've we've improved this comment. So now watch. Let's just we'll change it to repair item from a major concern. Just a few defects and red flags noted. Examples of observations and defects found during inspection are included in the electrical chapters and repair items, and also include. Now I I put that in because maybe under GFCI protection I'll I'll use that comment, and I might have a few other comments that I've put in. So I might not have everything under this, but if I have a long list of electrical stuff, I love putting it all in one place. So let's unpack this a little bit. Okay, well, let's uh, go under um, open wires were noted, running splices were noted, physically damaged wiring was noted, and there was wiring near the attic access. There was surface run cable noted, older cloth covered wiring, um, Boom, we just made that whole list here. Let's say it was an old house and there was some knob and tube wiring noted and running splices onto the knob and tube. Uh, let's see, lights. Inoperative lights were noted and damaged lights were noted. Missing light fixtures were noted. Exterior doors are missing required lights. Stairs are missing required lighting. You can see how quickly you can build these beautiful lists. Now, if I haven't touched one of these and it stays yellow, that will not print in the report. So we've got another video just on gunny sacks, but this is a kind of nice uh, three-part video here on text replacement and all the different things that ways in which you can you can build these. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.